Let's talk about what Ozempic is. Ozempic is an FDA-approved treatment for type 2 diabetes. The generic name for that is semaglutide. This medication has actually been around for quite a long time, or this class of medications has been around for quite a long time, but it's gained a lot of traction on social media and in our clinic offices. Ozempic, or semaglutide, is used as an FDA-approved treatment for type 2 diabetes, with one of the side effects being weight loss. That's because semaglutide and Ozempic are a GLP-1 agonist, so they mimic the effects of the hormone GLP-1. GLP-1 agonists like Ozempic and semaglutide work through the ways that GLP-1 hormone works in our bodies. This helps decrease hunger and cravings and increase satiety. Naturally, these patients who use Ozempic will decrease the amount of calories and food that they consume. It also delays gastric emptying, which helps people feel fuller longer. Unfortunately, through that mechanism, one of the side effects can be constipation and GI distress. GLP-1s also work in other areas of our body, in our brains, and our muscles, and there's probably a lot of things we don't know about Ozempic as we've only been using it for a short amount of time. The Ozempic medication has been created by the lab chemist to last up to a week, so it's a once-weekly injectable medication, starting at lower doses and titrating up to higher doses. We know that the higher doses do create more of an effect with glucose and with weight loss. Although Ozempic is only FDA approved for type 2 diabetes, one of the side effects seen in the trials was weight loss. It's recently been FDA approved for weight loss under the trade name Wagovi. Both of these medications, Wagovi and Ozempic, are semaglutide, and we know that they can be used for weight loss. They work in the same mechanism by reducing hunger and increasing satiety. This creates less caloric intake and less food intake for the end user. Using Ozempic for weight loss is actually an off-label use. It's only approved under the trade name Wagovi for weight loss, indicated for a BMI over 30 or a BMI of 27 and above with a comorbidity. A comorbidity would be something like having high blood pressure as well as a BMI over 27. How much will you have to pay for Ozempic? A lot of this depends on your prescription cover and drug benefits. You'll need a prescription from your doctor and you'll have to fill at a commercial pharmacy. Based on your insurance benefits, they'll be able to tell you how much it may cost. Of course, if you don't have insurance coverage, you can always pay cash, but these medications tend to be very expensive because they're very new. What is Ozempic face? The use of medications like Ozempic do induce weight loss through caloric restriction and body fat reduction. We actually have fat in our face. So these small fat pads in our face, when we lose weight, they get smaller and they atrophy. With fat loss in the face, it changes the dynamic structure of our face and how we look, which is why it's been called Ozempic face. With the use of Ozempic and the weight loss that comes with the use of it, we lose the fat in our face, which is really unavoidable unless you don't lose weight. Of course, from an aesthetic standpoint, you'd have to see somebody to get injections or fillers, or you're gonna have to gain the weight back in your face. There's no way to spot reduce fat on our body, so it's an unfortunate side effect that happens with use. What is Ozempic but? We know with the use of medications like Ozempic, patients will lose weight. We don't have any way to spot reduce certain parts of our body, so with the loss of fat in our buttocks area and around our glute muscles, the dynamic structure of the buttocks will change. This is where it's gotten the name Ozempic butt. Why am I not losing weight on Ozempic, Monjaro, Wagovi, or Zepbound? We know through the studies these medications are very powerful at inducing weight loss, but the mechanism is by reducing caloric intake and making you feel less hungry. It's still possible that you may be on a low dose of the medication that needs titration higher, or you may just be overeating through those satiety signals. You do have to create a caloric deficit to lose weight. What is the difference between Ozempic and Manjaro? Ozempic is semaglutide and Manjaro is terzepatide. These are both peptide medications that have different mechanisms of action. Ozempic and Manjaro both target the GLP-1 hormone or a GLP-1 agonist, meaning that they act just like the GLP-1 hormone that our body would normally make. But Manjaro wins out because its second mechanism of action is GIP. This helps increase a little bit of insulin production, and we know that compared head-to-head, -head, Monjaro induces more weight loss than Ozempic. They're both FDA-approved for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. What is smart care management? Smart care management can help you if you're using GLP-1 weight loss medications. 
When you leave with that prescription and head to the pharmacy, who is going to help you? Here at BioCoach, through Smart Care Management, we're gonna help you decide how to eat, how to best move, to sleep great, and to mitigate stress. We know that Smart Care Management is the most important adjunct to the use of GLP-1 medications, and we're here to help you every step of the way. We wanna make sure that you feel best from the inside out.